putting all words in and you know it becomes such a or it is obsession over obsession obsession am um, they they is not even the word is more complicated correct correct a uh, harshit can you hear me yes sir oh, good speaking from raipur chatisgarh yes sir you have done mechanical engineering yes sir have you done any job so far uh no sir after graduation in 2017 i have been pursuing uh, civil service civil service okay let me ask you you know a number of this is what we were discussing in fact that is uh, lakhs of people keep appearing reappearing in civil services after 5 years 6 years they you know many of them are at a dead end there is nothing in front of them so do you think this entire system needs to be changed because you know theoretically or logically let us say if you look at it you know let us say 5 lakh people appear finally in the final list only about 500 600 persons are going to get selected the rest of them are going to get rejected so even if the best geniuses of the world come and appear there is a limit put to it by the number 600 beyond that they cannot be selected so which means whatever may be their hard work whatever may be their level of intelligence lakhs of people are going to miss it then they appear year after year after year and that is the time when the prime of their youth goes they are not able to get jobs so do you think there is a need to rethink this system sir uh, in my opinion um, it is uh, it is more about the uh, purpose for which we start to pursue civil service and uh, if we have clarity and uh, for some reason there is a lack of guidance so it might take more than one attempt for me uh, it take multiple or took multiple attempts but uh, if the motivation is clear and it is pure sir i think we could pursue it provided that uh, there is uh, a financial and uh, uh, psychological support present with us if uh, these two supports uh, uh, unfortunately are not there then sir i believe after uh, two attempts uh, one should start to think of backup uh, i was fortunate enough that i had uh, support of my family so that's why i single handedly pursued this sir okay now you have shifted my question my question was from one angle from one perspective you have taken it from another perspective what is the change in pers- perspective that you have brought about you know the question i put to you was different the yes. answer you have given is different yes. what is the difference between my question and your answer tell me uh, uh sir uh, i'm sorry i uh, uh so the question was uh, regarding whether the system should be changed and i answered that uh, one should uh, pursue uh, the reason why one should uh, keep pursuing it after multiple attempts so regarding the uh, question of uh, the change in the system uh, i believe that uh, uh, the areas uh, regarding increased increasing vacancies or uh, how the so the area where i think where only the when vacancies are increased and more people are recruited in the uh, civil services then the selection rate will increase but sir even then uh, lakhs of people would still not be uh, selected even after increasing the vacancies 
so sir i believe that uh, just changing the system uh, uh, apart from that the mindset and the attitude regarding this exam of the students who give the exam should be taken care of as government has already uh, uh, opted for options where uh, students who have created interview they could uh, put their marks in the public domain and uh, subsequently employment uh, could be given to them as in when required so this is what i think sir yeah i couldn't hear the last part of it but what you are saying is that if they don't get selected some other opportunities should be given to them is that what you are saying yes sir okay that's a good suggestion you see now you have now answered my question correctly you know i was asking it from the point of view from the macro point of view of the society you took it from the micro point of view of the individual okay yes sir so that's something that you need to think about why is it that uh, you took it like that because basically you are shifting the question you know which is not good in an interview in an interview you should listen carefully you should try to take the perspective of the person who is speaking when yes, i ask you is there some need to change the system you started telling me that if the person is hard working he will be able to get selected all right yes, so sir. this is a lesson yes. for you to keep in mind yes. now you can think about this and in case this type of a question is asked you can give some nice answer you know when you say that the number of vacancies can be increased that is not again a good answer to give see yes. you cannot have uh, instead of having let's say 5000 collectors you cannot have 150000 collectors just to accommodate more people isn't it yes sir so that's like saying let us create more number of collectors more number of sps more number of igs dgps why when the when the system doesn't need it why should you do that so there could be other solutions the other solutions could be for example to uh, have the preliminary is very tough maybe or to do something else or reduce the number of chances reduce the age limit give a gap give a space of only let's say 3 years maximum so from let's say from a minimum age of 20 years to a maximum age of 26 years you can have two or three chances maybe even two chances one chance to know what the exam is like another chance to try it then get out and try for something else one is that's one option the other option is you fill up other vacancies with this exam there are lakhs of vacancies but then that will create another type of problem what will be the problem that will arise if you instead of uh, selecting only ias ips officers etc you fill up vacancies of different levels with this exam then what will be the negative result of that sir i have to think on it sir i have not thought on it sir the negative result will be you know let us say that a person who got 2% marks extra 2% higher in the list will be an ias officer a person with let's say 5 marks less will be in the ips a person with 10 marks less will be an inspector a person with 15 marks less will be a sub inspector a person with 35 marks less will be a constable so the yes. same examination giving uh, opportunities at such disparate levels can create a lot of tension okay because yes. the person who got 35 marks less may actually be more intelligent and that gap might have been for some other reason maybe at that time the examiner did not like his answer or his essay was not properly evaluated so this type of problems is think give a thought to all this okay yes sir all right ashay yes sir raipur and chatisgarh chatisgarh state was carved out of madhya pradesh 
How old is the Chhattisgarh now? Uh, sir, we... sir, it is currently uh, in this year, November. Uh, it will be twenty-two. Uh, the twenty-two years. Yes. You find the difference in during this period uh, when it was under the combined state of Madhya Pradesh and yeah, as a independent state of Chhattisgarh. Any change, any development due to the uh, formation of the new state? Uh, sir, uh, first is uh, regarding the agricultural production. Uh, Chhattisgarh's uh, uh, production and its uh, procurement regarding rice and paddy has been uh, has increased sufficiently uh, vis a vis before the bifurcation. Uh, second, uh, regarding the uh, mining production. Uh, wherein uh, now Chhattisgarh has emerged as the leader when it comes to coal mining, where it currently stands at current first position this year, or whether it is the iron ore mining, or whether it is the tin mining, for which it is the sole producer of the entire country. So third is uh, regarding uh, various uh, uh, tribal reforms or the tribal initiatives that the government has taken that has led to uh, providing insurance coverage to the Tendu Patta collectors uh, that has led to more and more uh, tribal rights being uh, uh, issued to the tribe. Uh, sir, apart from that, uh, regarding health, uh, sector of health and sanitation, uh, Chhattisgarh has emerged very innovative, wherein concepts like garbage cafes has been set up. Yes, sir, uh, there is a substantial improvement, substantial um, development during this period, is it? Uh, yeah, yes, sir. Uh, uh, yes, sir. Um, I think once we, when we hear about the Chhattisgarh, the, immediately it becomes to anybody's mind that Maoist activities. Have you encountered any Maoist group? Uh, sir, uh, my father uh, is in the State Forest Service and he has had multiple. Uh, uh, encounters with the Maoists uh, in his Buster tenure when he has worked. So, what was the uh, the, uh, the result of the encounter, and what was the, their their demand? Uh, sir, uh, the result of the one which was the most significant one, wherein the at at midnight the uh, the Maoists approached in hundreds around 200 in a tractor trolley and they, they burnt all the uh, uh, government vehicles and the government records. Uh, and uh, they specifically targeted the uh, officials that uh, supposedly had uh, been uh, exploiting the tribals regarding wage payment, etc. And uh, my father was let go because he had a positive image. And uh, basically, their demand was uh, to uh, destroy the government records and government per paraphernalia so that the government initiatives and the schemes uh, are not implemented. Data collection gets hampered. And uh, there's a sense of uh, fear among the officials when they start to work on the ground regarding government schemes. So this was their basic demand for that. The writer Arundhati Rai, she has written about her journey there in the Chhattisgarh Maoist areas. Is there any developmental activities taken over by the Maoists today? Have they done some land reforms uh, or some uh, irrigational facilities created in those areas? Uh, sir, uh, as far as uh, I am aware, uh, the Maoists have uh, so created uh, starting to create a liberated zone with, uh, for example, Abhujmad area that is in Narayanpur district, around 4,000 kilometer square area, they have declared as liberated zone, wherein uh, uh, no police official or the government official is present. And they have started uh, their schools. Uh, they try to uh, teach uh, Maoist ideology. Uh, they help the farmers in uh, collective cultivation or zoom cultivation, etc. In that way, they have started to integrate the Ma tribals with themselves. But sir, uh, I would not call it development as such because that is an attempt to isolate them from the government so that the tribals, uh, they don't realize what is the true development. Uh, and as 
uh, i think sir uh, the people in the bus sir are, are voiceless uh, they don't know what is right what is wrong the lack of education is there and their encounters with the government have not been uh, that good so that's why there's a trust deficit uh, which these maoists have capitalized so i would not call it development sir for sure well do you see the difference between the liberated areas and the other regions there sukma for example it is the hard bed of the maoist activities so do you see any difference between the liberated areas and other areas uh, uh yes sir uh, in uh, in the other areas uh, like bijapur where my father has also worked and sukma visa is the abujmar which is liberated zone uh there's uh, in liberated zone there is a lack of access to civilians uh, only crpf personnel occasionally uh, go there for patrolling uh, that is also very uh, challenging because of the rough terrain and forested area dense forested area and hills and the other areas uh, we have uh, although they are naxal affected but still there is significant presence of roads mobile towers because of the crpf camps that, that have been set up and uh, Uh, there, there are government officials, forest department, police thanas have been set up. So these areas are uh, seeing uh, development slowly, and people are getting liberated from this uh, Maoist influence. Whereas in liberated zone, uh, this uh, is taking some time to occur. So during the at least last few years, uh, uh, the Maoist menace has been controlled, and it is uh, uh, I think I think the number of activities has it come down. uh yes sir uh, as far as the records of our state is concerned uh, in the past 2 years there have been 40% reduction in uh, maoist activities and uh, yearly if uh, more than 800 uh, maoists are surrendering 50% are surrendering in satisgarh so there are uh, significant reduced reduction in instances and there's more and more development being seen in the maoist affected areas especially uh, if we talk about sukma bijapur these are also aspirational districts so uh, various data shows from the central government that uh, the the institutional uh, deliveries have increased the rural tapped water connection has increased to 20 by 24 24% yearly uh, so they are uh, seeing development and sir i believe it's a matter of time that uh, uh, maoist free nath chatisgarh will also be created Have you visited this uh, Indravati Tiger Reserve since your father was the CC of that time? Have you visited this? Uh, uh, yes, sir. I have uh, visited, sir. But uh, uh, because it's a Naxal hotbed, so civilians are not allowed to get into the Tiger Reserve area. Only forest officials uh, go there for uh, their works, development works, and wildlife services. You mentioned that motivational quotes as one of your hobbies. Um, can you give us some uh, motivational quotes which you consider as the best? Sir, uh, actually, I've uh, I've uh, updated my hobbies uh, in the DAF too. Uh, but anyways, if you ask, I'll try to answer you. You are not mentioned in the second uh, DAF. Uh, the this particular. Uh, no, no, sir. Uh, I have updated them. Okay, you mentioned the diary writing. Yes. Is there in the second DAF. Yes. So what do you write in the diary? Uh, sir, uh, my purpose of diary writing is to keep track of my uh, work uh, on daily basis. Uh, second is to. Uh, consolidate my thoughts regarding events that occur around me and to form an opinion third is in a way uh, uh, talking to myself so that uh, i get motivated uh, if there is something good things or bad things happening with me i try to learn from them and get motivated that every day is a new day so in that way it provides me clarity regarding uh, everyday life okay thank you harshit thank you sir <coughs> harshit Yes, sir. You mentioned about uh, dairy writing. It's one of your hobbies. Yes, sir. Uh, what's the between memoirs and autobiography? 
sir i'll have to read up on it sir i am not aware okay. will you continue your dairy writing if you are selected for forest service yes sir i'll continue it that will land you in trouble <laughs> uh, sir i am not aware <laughs> of any troubles uh... so you are ready to take that risk uh, sir i'll uh, i'll have to know more sir regarding trouble or whether i am not allowed to write diary for reasons thereof okay okay uh, oh, ashit what is your view on uh, the role of artificial intelligence in forest management sir uh, in my view uh, artificial artificial intelligence uh, uh, has uh, potential uh, when it comes to uh, detecting forest fires uh, using satellite images uh, comprehending them so that the reach of the fires could be uh, anticipated so that the various teams could be inducted uh, apart from that sir uh, uh, artificial intelligence could also be helpful in terms of uh, mapping of the forest areas uh, and ensuring that uh, the, the wildlife and the move their movement is anticipated and their proper management works is done uh, it also will help us to uh, ensure that uh, Uh, if any development work is to take place, for example, dams or mines, uh, the the kind of selection that could be done uh, so that the least uh, damage to forests occur and the least uh, inconvenience to the tribes occur. Uh, uh, sir, these I think, sir, it has uh, some potential, but I think, sir, more research uh, should go into regarding its areas of application in forest service. Uh, you mentioned uh, watching movies uh, along with their economics. Could, could you elaborate that, uh, sir? Uh, 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 watching movies along with their economics uh, means uh, uh, looking into uh, the finances that goes behind making a movie, right from pre-production to production to post-production stage, till the time movie is sold to the distributors and the exhibitors where we watch the movie. and the revenues are generated and distributed uh, so in that area i have interest sir how do you know the true picture of the economy of a movie uh, sir uh, they are basically two sources uh, one is the uh, data that is released by the production company themselves uh, second is by the trade analysts who have been working in the industry for past decades so i look upon both data and try to come to a conclusion sir see this is one sector where lots of sheets of black money is involved this is everyone's knowledge it's, it's an open truth not a truth so how will you uh, uh, i mean ascertain the true economics of a movie uh, uh, sir uh, as uh, as black money uh, is an unaccounted money and uh, no one is really sure how much of it is involved in which sector as the government has itself said in one of the parliamentary debates it could be around 7 to 120% of the gdp so it could be involved in anywhere so we have to for the time being uh, we have to go by the official uh, the data released by the industry and the market uh, to get a conclusion sir but why are you interested in that angle does it anyway alter your view of the film which is basically an uh, work of an art uh, sir uh, uh, i have a bit of interest regarding uh, how the movies are made and how the finances are made because uh, yes sir uh, it is a uh, work of art and uh, how much the movie is made Uh, does not impact whether it is our favorite movie or not whether it is declared box office hit or flop but uh, it gives us a broad idea regarding what kind of movies uh, our audiences watch whether even if it gets good reviews from the critics whether it is watched or not uh, and even if it gets bad reviews by the critics it is watched by a lot of uh, movies so it gets us to know about the understanding of the market how the people think what kind of people uh, movie they watch and how the impact they could create in the society 
so i get that understanding from looking on road what is the difference between a doc, doc, documentary and a movie uh, sir uh, in a documentary uh, the the stories the characters displayed uh, are the real characters and uh, uh, the cinematic liberty uh, is not taken whereas in the movies uh, there is a disclaimer shown where there is a sense of cinematic liberty is taken uh, although it could be based on a uh, biography of a person but uh, there is a sense of uh, changing uh, the script so that a better entertaining uh, movie is made in that way sir both are different sir in your view the film kashmir film kashmir files is it a documentary or a movie uh sir uh, so <coughs> it is it is a movie sir okay thank you thank you harshit thank you again. thank you this yes, harshit uh, yes sir uh, you see a state from forest point of view uh tell me some of the forest types of chatisgarh forest types uh sir uh, Ch- chatisgarh uh in my knowledge has uh, majorly two types of forests uh, that is uh, uh, tropical moist deciduous forests and tropical dry deciduous forests uh, uh, major portions are covered by mixed forests of both and then 40% sal forests are found followed by teak forests sal forests totally uh, have you heard of sal light Sir, sir okay no sir i have not heard sir below you know, your state there is no sal it is sal light down south in the southern state find surya rupasta surya rupasta is found only in north and central india it is not found below in the south indian states that's why that is what colloquially they call it sal light yes Uh, what is the economic use of sal now earlier it was very popular a uh, lot of uh, railway sleepers were made but now railway sleepers are not required what for sal is being utilized in your state sir uh, uh, sal is being used by tribe uh, for uh, as a tooth uh, sal twigs are used as toothbrush uh then uh, sal seeds are used uh, to uh, to generate oil uh, that the tribes use uh, part of minor forest produce uh, apart from that sir uh, tribes uh, also use sal for various medicinal uses uh, where they mix it with other uh, herbs and uh, create uh, medicines for fever and headache uh, uh, sir these are the uses that are coming to my mind currently have you observed the two famous two important species of your state one is teak and other is sal both are there teak is there sal is there uh, what is the problem of regeneration in two species the regeneration pattern have you heard about it or observed it or read it in your forestry uh yes sir uh regarding the uh, uh, sal regeneration uh, uh the viability of sal seeds are very low that is up to 24 hours they have to sprout or else uh, the chances that the seed will not grow into a tree so uh, uh, more forest nurseries are made around the sal forest so that the seeds could be collected and planted and later on they are transplanted so that the, their regeneration is ensured of sal seeds and regarding teak seeds sir uh, uh, they are, they have longer viability and uh, uh, but sir regarding specific regeneration uh, uh, they have uh, uh, frequent good seed years uh, teak teak forest so uh, nat- more natural regeneration regeneration of teak is observed uh, so this is my uh, knowledge for currently which is better copy sir Teak or sal? Copy, sir. 
which gives better copies sir uh, i am i am not aware, aware about which one is better sir See, there were reports from government of india that the forest right act has been has been implemented very well in chatisgarh district in fact it is reported as being number 1 in implementation implementation of this act after implementation of this act do you think that uh, the unrest in the naxal area has come down uh, sir uh, it is uh, uh, definitely a very strong reason uh, wherein uh, as the original demand was land land reforms of the tribals so now they are getting the land rights and satisgarh has already provided the more than 3.5 lakh land titles individual as well as community both and apart from that it has also been the first state to provide urban land rights to the tribals who want to uh, uh, settle in uh, urban areas so in that way sir uh, the under uh, the grievances are reducing slowly uh, sir but this is just a uh, this is a welcome step but uh, i believe sir uh, more uh, is to be done uh, wherein uh, proper offensive works and operations uh, against the naxal that we conducted where the leaders uh, should be taken down and the development uh, in the liberated zone as well as i pointed out uh, is taken place when the roads and mobile towers and education and schools and hospitals are made only then sir this their influence would completely go sir in my opinion there be something about the biodiversity in your state plants animal birds are you aware of uh sir uh, some uh, prominent animals uh, uh, present in chatisgarh uh, they include the wild buffalo Uh, which is endangered IUCN status. It is also the state animal. Uh, we also have sloth bear, uh, which is followed by uh, uh, tiger. Tiger is also there. Uh, panthera tigris. Uh, as uh, talking of uh, fauna, uh, I've mentioned about sal and teak forests. Apart from that, Bhutia uh, monosperma, Zati rata indica, babul. These are very common species found. uh pingamia penata pongamia penata apart from that sir uh, various uh, uh, herbs are also found in chatisgarh wherein it is known as the herbal state uh, for example uh, aloe vera haldi kali haldi ban haldi dhar haldi various kinds of haldis are found uh, in the northern part and uh, the, it is basically emerging as the herbal economy wherein it contributes to around 59% of uh, uh, by volume of the total herbal products from the india uh, in that way sir it has lot of potential what is the economic use of butia monosperma sir uh, in my knowledge uh, uh, it is used uh, its timber is used uh, in construction works uh, apart from that uh, uh, it's uh, it's it's products like uh, like uh, like branches twigs uh, it's used for uh, for making toothbrush uh, it is also sometimes used in the uh, the the leaner uh, wood is used for fuel wood also by the tribes and uh, its flower uh, it's called the fire of the forest uh, wherein it indicates the the flowering seasons uh, of the forest uh, uh, sir this is my knowledge sir uh, correct about it most important thing that you omitted you did not mention the plates are made of the leaf and that is the yes, only sir. part of this economy yes sir use of the only making of the plate it's a very and it's a very intensive activity in your area in your state tons of plates made of this paper this thing which comes down south also and many people are trying to replace with uh, paper plates instead of paper plate or plastic plate these plates are very useful and they are yes. friendly also yes sir thank you very thank much thank you sir you done well um, harshit wish you all the best yeah sir from my side
Next slide. Yeah. Pressure to your current affairs. So all the best. See, Karthik, one thing is there. Uh, your presentations, answers are very effective, very good. But since you are a son of a forest officer, yes, there sir. are many more there are many more personal observations expected in the interview. Like, it, is, it seems that you have been a very darling boy of the family. That is why you have not seen the forest from outside. You have seen forest to, to the rest houses. If you have seen the forest from outside, nobody living in your area will ignore the utility of beauty, beauty of Manasparma. This is one species which defines the whole state. If you go by train, the entire thing flame of forest. The entire state will be seen in beauty as per monos And hundreds and thousands of families depend on that. So this was one just one observation I felt. Uh, regarding the Forest Right Act and all, you can brush up as to what is latest. Because the state has been actually being uh, appreciated by government of India as the best implementer. But what are the ramifications? What is the result of it? You can interact with some of the forest officers. You can interact with your father and find out what actually has happened for those areas. Is it really working? It was expected that implementation of Forest Right Act will be able to, I mean, take care of many of the grievances of the forest dwellers and tribals. And if still there is an unrest, then the whole activity becomes null and void. So I will request you to update yourself on this. You will yes, do sir. very well. Thank you, sir. Ashish, I yes, agree sir. with the comments of others. Only thing I want to ask you is your mobile number here, you know, 807 639 It doesn't seem to be connected with WhatsApp. So, is it connected to WhatsApp? Uh, no, sir. WhatsApp number is uh, different. Different. Can you give me that number? Yes, sir. Uh, 9753. 9753. 7783. 7783. 75. 75. Okay. I'll send you. I'll add you to my group. Okay. Yes, sir. Oh. Then we'll keep discussing for the next few days till your when is your interview? Uh, sir, on 16th June. 16th, okay. So for this one week, we'll discuss regularly and try to improve. Sir, otherwise, you are doing well. Nothing much to uh, work on, but still, we'll try to improve further. Okay? Yes. Yeah. Okay. All the best. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you.